Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Since the release of Deep Sea Car 1, lot of models, data sets and fine tunes are appearing. And in this video, I am going to show you a new fine tuned version of Coin2VL 2, 2 billion instruct which deals with reasoning. This model has specifically been designed for reasoning tasks, context reasoning and multimodal understanding. If you ask for an image description, it will automatically describe the image and answer the question in a conversational manner, just like Deep Sea Carbon. It won't be of that quality, I believe, but still it, it would be interesting to see how the reasoning works with these image models. The base model for this, as I said, is Quant2VL2 billion, which we already have covered on the channel, and it is one of the... Um, performance model i would say when it comes to vision in smallish size as you can see the size is just 12 billion so let's try it out and see how it works by the way this coin 2 vl was released around six months ago and it was one of the best models at that time in 2 billion or sub 2 billion parameter size so we are going to install this hoax 2 billion experimental and then we will see how it works let's uh, also thanks our good friends at Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is the VM I'm going to use and this is my GPU NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Gonda and then let's talk a bit more about this model. So this model, as I said, offers advanced contextual reasoning and what it does is it enhances the logical inference and decision making Plus, it also provides you a visual understanding on various benchmarks like Match Vista, Doc VQA, MTVQA, and that information is present in their uh, model card. You can check it out. Also, it is capable of processing and reasoning over videos of 20 minutes or more for high quality video based question answering, content creation, and dialogue. And due to the size, you can in easily integrate this model with mobile devices, robots and automation system for real-time operation based on both visual and textual input. Last but not least, it, it is multimodal. So you can, uh, sorry, it is multilingual in addition to multimodal. It supports English, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Arabic and various European languages and interestingly enough, a Southeast uh, language, Vietnamese, which is quite an interesting bit. So let's go back here and let's install all the prerequisites. Now for the prerequisites, installation of flash attention is uh, optional, but I would highly suggest that for vision models, you go with it. And for rest of the lot, I'm just going to go with this torch audio and that sort of stuff. And then I will also install flash attention. Now, while it installs that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel AI is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Okay, so this is going to take a couple of minutes to get everything installed. So let's wait. And now let's install the flash attention that shouldn't take too long. And we are also installing the coin utilities. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will download the model and play with it. And now let's download the model. As you can see, I'm also using flash attention. If your GPU doesn't support flash attention, you can just skip this line. And the model is being downloaded just like in the style of that base model. Um, the size is just one tensor under 4.5 gig of size. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the model is downloaded. Let's try to see how it does the reasoning with the images. So it's a usual prompt template where I am accessing this image from my local system. And then I am asking it to uh, describe this image or what is in the, in the image. And then tokenizer is encoding the input. Model is generating the output and then we are decoding it back and printing out the response. So let's run it. And the model has given its response. And if you look at it, it's a bit in, quite interesting. So it has done the reasoning 
Of course, it's not a full-blown reasoning model. But if you look at the responses, the first one is that from human and the value is what is the image about. It has changed my prompt. And then the rest of the stuff is coming from a model which they are calling GPT. So it means that they have also fine-tuned it from a synthetic data set from likely from the OpenAI's model. And then it is describing the image that the image depicts two women sitting in a dimly lit room surrounded by candles and a crystal ball. They appear to be engaged in a conversation or a ritual possibly related to divination or magic. And then it is trying to do a bit of a reasoning that what is the significance of crystal ball. So it is self-reflecting. It is self-reasoning, slicing and dicing, chain of thought, all that stuff. So now um, I haven't asked this, but if you look at this sentences from human, what is the significance of crystal ball? I didn't ask this, but just because I asked it what is in the image. So it is just going through every part of that image, thinking that I was asking about it. And then rest of the uh, question answering or visual question answering is happening between human and GPT, human and GPT. As you can see, what is the purpose of candle? What is the purpose of this, this, this? So this is how it is doing reasoning. It is picking up components from the image and then it is uh, talking about it which is not bad. If you look at the sentences, I think that is all coming from the Quen wheel, but the reasoning part is coming from this fine-tuned Hogs uh, experimental model. Okay, so since I, my question was quite broad, so it is picking component by component. How about if I just take this image and I will ask just about these shoes and then we will see, does it just only talk about the shoes or does it uh, start talking about the whole image. So let's go up and change it. So in this one, I have asked it what type of shoes the woman in the image is wearing. And it says the woman in the image is wearing black boots. There is no reasoning here. So as long as your question is generic, it does the reasoning. And then uh, if your question is very specific, it doesn't do it, which is quite unlike a reasoning model, I would say. And as far as the VRAM is concerned, I'm sure it is consuming not that much, just over five gig of VRAM, which is similar to the base model CoinVL, but CoinVL, I guess, consumes less VRAM than this one. So I would say that VRAM consumption is on the higher side of the stuff. Okay, let's try to do an OCR on a bit of a complex image to see how it does the reasoning. Now in the next example, I am giving it this chart. This is an image, so it is, and I am asking it that in the image, which journal has lowest monthly circulation that is going to test the OCR. And then I am asking it, what could be the reason? So I'm hoping that it is going to do a bit of a reasoning there. Even if it is a semblance of reasoning, I'm really keen to see if it does it or not. Let's run it and see how it goes. Let's wait for it to come back. I think the reasoning models take a lot of time. So, but this one doesn't take that long, but let's see. So the answer is, is consultant pharmacist with a circulation of 6,000. So this last one in the monthly, so the answer is correct. The reason for this could be due to the nature of the content and target audience. And then the consultant pharmacist is a specialized journal that focuses on latest development and all that stuff. It is likely that target audience is professional in the feed. Now, when we say reasoning or chain of thought, what it means is that it is talking with itself. It is slicing and dicing, and then it is going step by step. It is self-reflecting on its own answer. That is what is not happening here. In my opinion, I don't think so, that this model is quite there yet. But let me know what you think. Other than that, I think if we just need to do the VQA, OCR, image understanding, we can simply keep using our original Quen model, which I already showed you here. Uh, its size is less, its VRAM footprint is less. So I believe more need, lot of work needs to be done here on this model. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.